Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. Listen, I got an interesting opportunity for you. An acquaintance of Dave's. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's private sector. Very wealthy. Could be lucrative. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? <sighs> all right, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, I'll think about it. All right, me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you, it's a step up for you. A real opportunity. <laughs> here as soon as possible? No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Sounds good. Thanks. Man, where you going? That's the ride, my man. You're gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits! Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 oh. You finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop! Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh. Let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist, brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I guess we will, homie. Man, you guys come. 
phone, yo, Ian? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man, look, I'll see you soon. Yeah, we'll pick you up coming through Grape Seed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. You How about we see this one of you tools for real? So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race what? us. We were just getting out of here anyway. All right. Come on. 
stick with them. They gotta stop sometime. You know how fast you were going? Gee, I don't know, officer. I, uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so, uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. Officer. Is this officer. entirely necessary? Yes, it is. Get on. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint-sized prick! You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here! Go on! Man, I'm sick of driving so slow staying with these fools. Can we have a real... ...race? Hello? Hey, you that lady? The intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devon Weston. Holdings. I need to tell Devon we got them called. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn and South. Santos, Mr. Weston and I will meet you there. So Devin's lawyer says we gotta take them to Hayes Autos. To South LA. I'm a be there well ahead of you. Asshole. Well, I ain't waiting around, man. Let's go, but uh don't mess up the cars, you hear me?
right, it ain't no fun. If no one's pushing me, come on, dudes. to be honest. can take me places. Yeah, maybe. Something like that. The lead horse always burns out before the end. What's your angle, Mike? I love you all. Oh, God, this is going to be fantastic. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought it? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, give me five, five, and five. Oh, hey, chest kiss, homie. Boom. Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the... Fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. But you know what? I'm a payment on completion, a work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Like, right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on him, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll clock any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in a lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house? Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick, follow him to the lockup, someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper. Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, uh, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life is just one long mystery. Bye bye gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Michael, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good.
cab here as soon as possible? On its way, sir. Thanks for calling. Appreciate it. That's the ride, my man. You saw the show last week, right? Three words. Bad, you, lust. I was driving in my nose. Did you surprise myself to death with joy? Really? Look, if I offended you, I'm sorry. So Excuse me. What can he pill up? Like I care. Hello. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker! <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown! It's all being shot on green screen right out back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. With lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now, he's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself who knows where. <sighs> all right. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already! <laughs> I'd like to order a cab, please. I'm really sorry. I don't have any free cars right now.
Hey, Solomon. I'm just doing that thing. Good, good. Now, I realized in my excitement, I forgot some details. Yeah, it seemed obvious. You want this Pelosi guy clipped? No, God no. Is that an option? No, no, no. Bad idea, bad idea. No clipping anyone. Just teach him some manners. He's also in my director's ear as well, if you'd believe it. So teach this punk a lesson and bring the talent back to set. Ideally, in a more collaborative mood. I'll see what I can do. They all gonna be at the club? I'm told it isn't a club so much as a rat pit. Anton and Milton are supposed to be there, and Pelosi's on the way to pick them up. He's taking them to his lawyer to sign the contracts, so if he hears there's someone from the studio coming, he'll get him out fast. All right. I'll go in quiet. I'll see you on the set, boss. Can I get a cab? Sorry. All the drivers are busy right now. Uh, please call back later. Look, I've got like the most amazeball and runners opportunity ever. What the fuck? Do you make a little slow? No, 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 no. This group is like. Yeah, hey, I need a cab. Uh, unfortunately, we got no cabs available at the moment. Can you try again later? Let's go. 